Hey, so now let's take up question number 10 for discussion, which also holds two marks. This question talks about two bulbs which are rated P1V and P2V. Further, the question says that if they are connected in series and in parallel across a supply V, find the power dissipated in the two combination in terms of P1 and P2. Now here to solve this question, first of all you need to find out the resistance of both the bulbs and how you can do so you can calculate the resistance by using the power rating okay so let's have a look on to the solution so we are given p1v as the rating of bulb b1 and we are considering p2v as the rating of bulb b2 so by using the formula of power which is p is equal to v square by r we can calculate the resistance of bulb b1 and b2 so r1 which is the resistance of bulb b1 will come out to be v square by p1 and the resistance of bulb b2 will come out to be v square by p2 now let's try to calculate the power dissipated in both the cases first of all we are going to connect these bulbs in series combination so you can see here when i will connect them in series what is going to happen have a look here so bulbs are connected like this now in series combination we all know what is going to be the equivalent resistance that is going to be the sum of the resistance of bulb b1 and bulb b2 so r equivalent will be r1 plus r2 so that will be equal to v square by p1 plus v square by p2 now what is going to be the power dissipated in this circuit in this combination that will be v square where v is going to be the applied voltage now as the applied voltage is the same as the voltage of the power rating of the bulbs okay so you can clearly see here that is equal to v square by r equivalent okay so this will be v square now here you need to put the value of r equivalent which is v square in the bracket 1 by p1 plus 1 by p2 now as this v which is the applied voltage is the same as the power rating of the bulb so these two get cancelled out and hence you will get p series as 1 upon this is 1 by p1 plus 1 by p2 so when you will take up the lcm this will be p1 p2 and in the numerator you will have p1 plus p2 now as this will be reciprocal so you will get the final result in the case of series combination as p1 p2 divided by p1 plus p2 now we have to do the same procedure for the parallel combination of these bulbs so you can have a look here so in the case of parallel combination you can see here the bulbs will be connected in this way now what is going to be the equivalent resistance for this parallel combination of these two bulbs you can easily find out that by using this formula of parallel combination of resistors okay so 1 by r equivalent will be equal to 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 now in this case what is going to be the power dissipation so power dissipated in this circuit will be v square divided by this r equivalent so when you will just substitute the values you can clearly get here that in this case the power dissipated in this circuit of parallel combination of these bulbs is just the sum of p1 and p2 so what is the power dissipation in this case of parallel combination that is p1 plus p2 now let's have a look on to the marking scheme for this particular question so here in this question when you will calculate the equivalent resistance for the case of a series combination of bulb so for solving this question till here you will get half mark when you will calculate the resistance of each bulb and you will successfully calculate the resistance of series combination of these bulbs you will score half mark you will get another half mark for calculating the power dissipation in the case of series combination of these bulbs then you will get more half mark if you will solve this question till here that is for calculating the equivalent resistance in the case of parallel combination of these bulbs and you will get the final half mark for calculating the power dissipation in the case of parallel combination that is when you will do this calculation 
and you will get the final result in the case of parallel combination of bulbs as P1 plus P2 you will score this complete half mark for that part. So this is how you are going to get 2 out of 2 for this particular question of the paper. Now let's move on to our discussion for question number 11. 